everyone, me again. Welcome back to Rex and Rex. So I'm off on a very special trip today. I'm here with my lovely friend Maggie, who's very grumpy because it's half past four in the morning. And we're off on a very, very special trip with Wow Trip, who have sent us to a mystery location. We're literally in Manchester Airport right now, and we still have no idea where we're going. So we're about to open the email and find out. Are you nervous? Yeah. I'm really nervous. Could be Blackpool. No, not. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to Berlin. <laughs> That's where I wanted to go. Oh my god, this is amazing. Cool. Let's go and That's take okay. some photos in the photo mat and go to the Berlin Wall. Yeah. <gasps> Are you excited? I am. Let's go to Berlin. I'm so excited we're going to Berlin. I wanted to go to Berlin for so, so long. And it means that we can do a little bit of a mixture of cultural stuff, but also drink lots of beer. <laughs> How much German do you know? Uh, zero. Nine. That, that's no. no. <laughs> Got a very important, one very important German phrase that I know. Tell me. Yeah. Es ist windig, ja. Yeah. It means it's windy, yeah? yeah. Catalonia Berlin Mitte and it's absolutely gorgeous really really like it don't know what we expected because we didn't look at the hotel but did not expect it to be this nice and it's super close to everything as well and the guy at the reception was so helpful and he's mapped out everywhere we need to go on day one all the best bits so we're gonna go find a little cafe or, or a beer garden or somewhere because the weather's amazing and we're gonna get a beer maybe a bratwurst cheeky bratwurst Sausage. Sausage. And uh, plan out our route. See where we can go today. I think we can get a lot done today. We can. Let's go to the wall. Let's do all of it. Let's do all of Berlin in one day. But first, <laughs> makeup. Because, wow, 4 a.m. <laughs> okay, we're off exploring. Where are we going first? Captain Maggie. To find sausage. I would like a bratwurst and a beer in a giant stein, please. <laughs> size that counts. <laughs> lunch it was definitely a tourist trap but we were so hungry we just wanted a sausage um but it was delicious very very nice and everyone's so friendly so far so we're having a great time we're gonna head down and do some history stuff now so stay tuned so this is the memorial for the jews of europe in the holocaust and it's really quite surreal to be here um it feels incredibly oppressive with all the grey blocks that are kind of like surrounding you every which way. It's not a maze, they are in a uh, straight line so it's quite easy to walk through but you do kind of feel a little bit engulfed and lost which uh, I feel is quite synonymous. Having been to Auschwitz a couple of years ago, um, it's really quite incredible walking around here now. So the typography de terror uh, little ex exhibition was really interesting and it's completely free to go. You can take a look around and it just sort of gives you a bit of a rundown of the whole Hitler reign. Uh, and then we've just passed Czech 
checkpoint Charlie as well, which I think was a checkpoint in the Berlin Wall where loads of people sort of got in and out. Um, but it was super busy, so you can get in. <laughs> but there's loads of things to look at in and around. So if you don't want to actually pay to go into any of the exhibitions, you can obviously have a look around the outside, which is quite nice. I feel like we've learned a lot today. Did your brain feel full? Yeah. My brain feels full and my feet hurt because we've done a lot of walking. Let's go back to the hotel, recoup and make a second plan and have another beer. Yeah. She's got two maps on the go now. <laughs> so we are both very, very tired. It's about 8 p.m. and we fell asleep, which probably made things a bit worse. We went to sleep. You went to sleep for ages. I'm very angry. <laughs> I had about 20 minutes and then just randomly woke up. Um, but we've decided to come out anyway because otherwise we would have just sort of snoozed in the room. And the weather is so nice. It's apparently going to be 30 degrees tomorrow. So it like feels super, super lovely and summery out here. We've had a look on Foursquare to see where people recommend for places to eat in the evening. Super easy to find somewhere. And we found a ceviche place, which we're gonna go and hunt out now. Apparently they do a really good pisco sour. So I'm all up for one of those. playing the German chase. So it is day two in Berlin and the weather is scorching. It's like 30 degrees. We're very, very happy. Gonna get tanned. Uh, and we're just heading out for some breakfast this morning. We're gonna just try and find a local cafe somewhere for maybe like a pastry and a coffee or an omelette or something. And then we're gonna go and hit the war museums and do a bit more culture. How are you enjoying Berlin so far? It's wonderful. It is really nice. It's such a pretty city and everything feels super calm. Like it's not really busy. There's not loads of people around. There's no, not loads of cars either. It's just nice and quiet. It's nice. Finally got my pretzel, ticked off another thing on the list and a cinnamon bun, very, very nice. exploring a new city by foot is that you start to pick up your bearings like really quickly and we've just managed to make it back to the gym market where we were yesterday we feel like we're at home I feel like we've, we've completed Berlin <laughs> like, completed, it, mate. completed it done it mate next level which is really nice because you do get to see so much of the city and even if you get a little bit lost at times you've managed to find something around every corner so we've just googled it and apparently the spritz originally oh no there's a wasp so as i was saying before we got attacked by a wasp um apparently this was originally invented in venice but by austrian troops so that's probably why they drink it a lot in germany as well there you go we've learned something today cheers prof cheers so we're gonna get a photo in one of the photo mats which are all around berlin and they're like a traditional thing but we've just got to get a photo let's go it's a bit tight. It's a bit, it's, it's a bit romantic. I mean, I feel like these are the best photos ever taken in a photo automat in Berlin. They're brilliant, I love it. And now we're taking off another first in Berlin, which is the original currywurst, which so many of you guys have suggested that I do. Do you want some sausage? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's really good. It tastes like it tastes like a school dinner sausage with ketchup and chips up curry sauce. Oh my god. Okay. I'm happy with this. Oh, there's a wash my face. Actually as big as my head. <laughs> Good morning everybody. It looks like I'm in a wind tunnel. It's actually not that windy. It's another 30 degree day today, so we're very, very hot. Uh, and we are off to explore the graffiti part of the Berlin Wall as our final destination before we head home later. Very exciting though. We've had a lovely time. Look, I'm 